Well, hi there, and welcome to Home Wizards, where we love to improve your home and improve your life. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And Eric, I've been thinking about uh, using some chalkboard paint. We talk about chalkboard paint a lot, and I wanted to use some of it for this kind of a garden shelf I'm creating uh, outside the kitchen. I have a little potting shed and a little area where I do my projects. And I was really torn between going with a can of paint and paint brushing it on versus spray paint, which, by the way, I had a hard time finding. Yeah, I know. It was tough, wasn't it? But apparently rust only has one. But what would yeah. you say? Because you, are, as a contractor, paint expert, what would you advise? And what do you, what's the material you're going to paint on? It is a wooden, it's an old, you know, wooden oh, shelf. It's like old, it's old wooden <laughs> shelf. Yeah. It's got like three little shelves, but I thought sure. it'd be really cute to kind of use chalkboard paint and then write herbs, yes. write little garden things on there, and then store some of my seeds and project materials right there. It's got about it. three shelves high. Okay, so anytime you use paint on any surface, primer is great first. Okay. So whatever you do, do primer first and then I- either one would work, but here's the here's the caveat. If you're going to spray, you're going to get a nice even almost like auto body finish to it. So there won't be any imperfection whatsoever making writing with chalk smooth and perfect. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the difference between writing on a sidewalk with rough cement versus a really smooth chalkboard, mm. right? So you definitely want to use the primer first, then the spray can. And then you have that nice smooth finish. You can write your basil, your you know whatever exactly. you're going to write on there. It'd be perfect. So you think then we can't get a primer in one spray? I don't think so. I, I, no, I think they just do one finish only on it. And mm-hmm. then again, uh, you know, the, there's there's all these people that'll like paint mirrors and stuff like that. If you're going to ever paint a mirror, you know, you got to have primer because it's literally the most slick surface in the world. But Having said that, just take the frame out and you know take the frame and then remove the mirror and use that somewhere else and then put a piece of wood in the frame, mm-hmm. you know, to give you that nice look of a framed thing that isn't a mirror. Because first of all, it's super heavy. Second of all, it's the worst surface to paint on in the history of the world. So I don't know why you in the history do that. of the world. In the history of the world, <laughs> mirror is the worst thing to paint. Because I, you know, we and we have by the way a bunch of uh, ideas and yeah. projects with chalkboard paint. But my first pickle was which kind to choose. Um, whether we go with the uh, the paintbrush or the spray can, but you say we should as long as we have primer. Yeah, we can go you with can the go spray with can. the spray. It's and it's a nice, smooth, even finish. Now, if you if you are painting a large wall and you want to do like an entire headboard scenario on a on a anchor wall, you're definitely going to want to roll it on the wall because it's just it's too time consuming and too expensive to mm. use spray only. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But smaller things like flower pots or Size of the project. tiny little shelves or you know anything that you're doing that way f- the spray can's great. And if and before we get to the project ideas yeah. in terms of the primer is it just any old primer the same primer yeah, that we did a, any kind of primer would be fine and then if you want you could tint it a little bit darker it'll be easier to cover you could have them put a little gray in it so it's a little you know not oh, quite nice. so sparse and white cuz uh-huh. you know then it's much easier to cover on a second coat. So uh-huh. anytime you use primer have the person at the paint store tinted toward the color of the finished coat that you're going to use because mm-hmm. then it's much easier to cover. You don't see the white bleed through. And by the way, chalkboard paint can also be tinted. Yes, you can also get it comes like, in many colors. You it bet. comes in many colors. You can, hey, I want to have pink chalkboard paint, maybe. Listen, I don't know, you know? why you wouldn't you use know? chalkboard. I don't know why you wouldn't run to the store right now and, and get, get it, pink. screaming, I've got to have I've this right have now. It's cool stuff. Or you might want to have like that old, you know, elementary school green kind of You can have you whatever back. you want. You can have so many different colors of chalk that it's crazy making. You got all, you got Options. a colorful chalkboard and colorful chalk. What are you, nuts? I know. So let's talk about some of the different ideas. So you're not a fan of... of uh, Using a mirror as a base for our chalkboard project. Terrible. Okay. Well, if you don't do, if you think that Eric is right, then don't do it. Some yeah. other people have enjoyed it. It might. What if you use a small mirror? You can, but a I mean, you, why not take the mirror and put it in a different frame and have a mirror? Okay. And then just, just use the same frame and put a nice piece of plywood, in, and then you got a, a great surface to receive paint. All right. So I you, like, and it's lighter, and I like it better. Okay. So it's better than just to have that that harder surface. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. So some of the other ideas, because in fact, if you are a Pinterest fan, and yeah. we hope that you will uh, follow us also on Pinterest, because we have all kinds of fun ideas up on our page, cool photos on projects and things. Um, but what we want to do is, you can also see there's a Pinterest page all about chalkboard paint. And so you're going to get some great ideas by going there. And plus, a lot of the different paint manufacturers, like Benjamin Moore and you know, so on, they have some great uh, project ideas. But let's just walk you through some very simple things, because maybe you're going, whoa, chalkboard paint, sounds like a cool idea. Step number one is to create almost like in your kitchen, in your dining room, um, you know, the deli feel. Right, right. right. 
You so, can create so with that, you could a either, menu for you, the evening. Yeah, you could either do a, an individual placard that is a hanging thing where you can then have the chalkboard paint right. on the on the surface that you paint on, and mm-hmm. it's framed. Or mm-hmm. you can do the wall, the whole you wall. You can do a whole wall. And I've seen it in restaurants, and especially in Soho, they, they really do this a lot, where all of a sudden you walk in, and then behind the whole you know, chef the station. The soup of the night. There's you a know. huge chalkboard yeah. wall that has all the specials drawn on. It's really cool, and you can change it so easily. Oh, how about this? Let's say that you were serving appetizers, yeah. and you had a cheese platter. Yeah. Okay, a porcelain cheese platter. Yeah. You paint that with chalkboard paint, and then you are able to write and identify. This is the brie. You know what I mean? This yeah. is the goat cheese. This is the whatever. So people go, oh, what was that cheese? That'd and maybe be kind of cool. If it's a really you know highfalutin cheese, you want to be able to identify it. Yeah, or just simplify it and just put cheese with cheese. an arrow. Cheese and one, it. cheese two. Yeah, or just cheese. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I also love the idea of spray painting or brush painting with chalkboard paint yeah. a, a wine bottle. Okay. Okay, and then with the chalk, you can then put something on it and then use that as a vase. Oh, that's so you're cool. repurposing a wine bottle. Okay, yeah. you're painting it, and yeah. then you're now you can personalize with a message. You know, hi Eric, you rock. Yeah, and then it could be like a flower vase, right? Or hi Eric, wine bottle arrow. Could, it could be that. Yeah, that's cool too. I like it. <laughs> and you mentioned you know uh, painting uh, containers, terracotta pots. Yeah. We've done this before. Yeah, I love it when you do like you do a masking tape line around yes. it, and then you have a ha- you know half the terracotta color, half the chalkboard mm-hmm. paint color to identify the plant. Yeah, that'd be like, cool. Like this is cilantro. This is mint. That's right. This is whatever. This is Lance Wallheim. This is La- yeah. yeah. You can also get uh, glasses. In fact, when you go to Pier One Imports, they sell this, but you can do it yourself. To uh, to basically give everyone at your gathering, your party, their personalized wine glass or tumbler. You just get a set of glasses, yeah. drink glasses, uh-huh. you paint a stripe around it, and then now as the guests arrive, you give them their chalk, and that's so Eric's in, glass. So in place of the little charm, the wine charm thing. Yeah. It's, it's your little glass that's identification. A, that's a good idea, too, yeah. Yeah. You can also do this on mugs, by the way. I mean, the, the sky is the limit with these. Oh, and I love the idea of painting an entire table. I like to paint a Wouldn't it be cool to do a car? You Just a whole car <laughs> and like draw stuff on the car? We'll, we'll put these ideas on the website because we have lots more on chalk. And we're also going to help you with your garden next in terms of saving water because we all want to think about that. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. Check us out at yourhomewizards.com.